Good morning, or is it good afternoon? Either way, wherever you are, hi boo. So today, you know I'm finna get into y'all business as usual, but it's gonna be a general message. I'm gonna let the cars fly. We're gonna see what are the lies are. We're gonna expose the hidden truth. And um, you know I gotta give y'all some love messages just for guidance because I know just like I don't know. You never know who may be coming for you. But anyway, before we get into all that, let me light my Palo Santo and banish away the spirits. God, I come to you in prayer. Ask me that you open up my third eye so that I can give the collective a cognitive message. Allow me to be able to see into their life so that I can give them all the messages that they need to know. I also ask that you send any energies or any psychic attacks back to the owner 10 times fold and also ask that any entities that may be lingering around any energies that are not mine i ask that you send them right back to hell thank you love and light abundance and protection love and light abundance and protection love and light abundance and protection okay so y'all i gotta tell y'all about a dream i had last night and this may be a message for somebody okay so Wiping the slate clean. That's also a message. Um, somebody is basically getting rid of the baggage. Like a past person, the baggage. A new person, the baggage. If it's a job, it's baggage. If it's a feeling of just a new friendship, it's baggage. You should let that person go, which you are already doing. Okay, now to the dream I had. Y'all, so last night I had me a dream that I was chasing down my own double ganger. Yeah. Yeah, some real psychic stuff going on. So it was basically a psychic attack, but I learned the lesson within that dream. So with that being said, if you are chasing down a double ganger in your dreams, it's because that you are about to trap yourself into something that you, that you, basically you're trapping yourself into something. It's a warning not to go down a certain path. Okay, so I was being told to tell you all, if you are thinking about taking the ex back that may not be the path for you i know that you may have love for this person but you're going to end up trapping yourself in a loveless in a sneaky in a heartbreaking in a draining relationship if you are dealing with somebody new this person may and y'all get into the bed too fast this person may trap you with a baby if you're dealing with a work situation and a job and you're starting to feel like it's a dead end job and you're starting to feel trapped there, it's because it's time for you to get something new. And if you're moving, like moving states, moving places, I'm being told to let you know that you need to make sure that you make sound decisions and make sure that this is the course of action that you need to take. Make sure you check all the boxes when it comes to moving. You never know what type of apartment or what type of area. So make sure that you are safe. The overall message is do not put yourself in a situation when you do not have all the facts because you're going to end up burned in the end because in my dream y'all when I touched my double ganger's hand after I finally caught up with her like I felt this electric like this electric shock throughout my body which ended up waking me up but before I woke up I looked down and I saw my leg was on fire so that is a message that the decisions that you are making from here on out can be very it can be a very bad consequence you may end up setting yourself on fire because you are trying to chase after something that is not for you stay and staying in something that is only going to trap you now let's get into this message god give me some messages for the collective what does the collective need to know today what does the collective need to know today regarding their life, regarding their love life, anything that they need to know for today? What does the collective need to know for today? That you're dealing with somebody who has childhood trauma, a person that is not meant to be loved, like especially if they haven't healed from their childhood trauma, it's gonna be, like I said in the beginning when, it was, when I was telling you, if an ex that you're trying to get back into it and get back into a relationship with it may be loveless it may it just it's you're trapping yourself in a relationship that you do not need to be in because they have not healed their childhood trauma and if i'm talking to you and you have childhood trauma my baby my love my darling 
All it takes is a prayer. All it takes is actual time and reflection. And you can heal yourself. You don't need a psychiatrist. Bottom of the deck. Somebody has a hidden body odor. And it's what I'm getting is this person may have like bad habits. So like they may drink a lot. They may smoke a lot. They may not really care about like I'm here to care about you. Like, and it's weird to come from something like that, but you're dealing with somebody who has childhood trauma, so their their heart isn't open, their heart isn't healed. So, how can they love you? And their family low key hates you. It's it's because like they mainly they probably see something in you that they don't like, or this person has been bad mouthing you to their family to try to get them to be on their side or to gain sympathy. For something, I don't know. People are really weird out here. You'd be surprised how people badmouth you just to you have people care about them because of their childhood trauma. But God is gonna, but God is gonna make them right their wrongs, and they're gonna have bad luck for talking on you. Mm. And that spiritual attack I had last night, which made me have a dream, it was from a witch. That hates me, but I, but it only gave me a message to tell the collective, so they are a fool. <laughs> God is telling you to invest in yourself, collective. Whatever it is, you may have some dreams, you may have some goals, you may have some business ideas. I need you to get it off the ground. Now, your enemies will become your footstools. Like I made this person my footstool, they gave me a message and I was protected in my dream. So they couldn't, they couldn't even do anything to me. I woke up feeling refreshed and ready to give the message for today. Fools, I tell you. And God is about to make them your footstool. You're going to be crunching on their back as you walk to the top. <laughs> so God is telling you to pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags. Because if it's too many red flags, God is telling you to choose yourself. Because in divine timing, everything is going to come for you, going to come to you. Love, money, success. Because the person that you may be stuck on or may be dealing with that has that childhood trauma cannot give you the love that you need them to give you. Pay attention to the red flags, collective. You know when something ain't right. You you get that feeling. You you sense the bullshit. And what I tell you, in divine timing, you're going to be happy and wealthy. Life is about to get sweet. Life is already sweet, but baby, it's going to get even sweeter. And it was crazy. I went to Walgreens early this morning. And for some reason, I was getting some water. But it was, you know, those little caramel candies. I just had this, this I don't know, this feeling of just getting one. Like, and it's sitting in my purse right now, and I don't even know if I'm going to eat it. I may eat it. I don't know. But the, the whole message is life is about to get sweet, real sweet. And a person, you got somebody that has a crush on you. This is giving past person energy and new person energy. But God is telling you to const just pay attention to the red flags. Is it superficial or is it beneficial? And God wants you to practice what you preach. Don't be out here claiming that you live the vegan life when you don't live the vegan life. Claiming that you live the spiritual life when you don't live the spiritual life. Claiming that you are all about self-development, but you sitting at home on the couch eating bag of chips. Not doing a damn thing about your goals, your dreams, and your aspirations. Practice what you preach. You may have short hair, or they may have short hair, or a future person that may come to you will have short hair. This person, your ex-person, maybe your current person, and people in your past, they thought little of you and they think little of you. A spiritual birth. This person, it's because they're insecure and they're trying to make you insecure. Because you're up here and they're down here. Your foot is literally on this person's medulla. <laughs> and then they want to be you so bad. Because they don't have no sense of self. They want your identity. 
They want to glow like you. They want to grow like you. They want to know like you. But they, they can't. They're not you. And they're trying to stop your plans. So you got your energy vampire that you're dealing with. Somebody who sees your greatness but also wants to stump it out. I'm here unplanned pregnancy. Do not be one of those women who get trapped thinking that everything's cool. Yeah, you may have had sex this weekend and you didn't you didn't notice any fluids or nothing. But if you got a, if if you get this feeling that God is telling you to go get a plan B, invest in yourself and go get a plan B because I am getting strong strong feelings of an unplanned pregnancy. And you don't want to be trapped in life because that is what they want to do. Ruin your plans. And if I'm talking to a male, you're literally going to be talking to a woman who wants to basically trap you into something to keep you from growing and moving past them. And it's, from, it's coming from somebody who is in sexual energy. All they want to do is sex you down, but not even fix your crown. I love to watch you undress. That's all they, that's all they want to do. <clears throat> and now I want me to speak to you because they don't want you to know what their plans are. They plan to come and woo your panties and your boxers off. Energy vampire to suck up your energy so that they can feel more alive, feel more complete, feel like something because they're insecure. And then they're going to make and they're probably going to make you feel insecure by not giving you the love that you deserve, ignoring you, thinking little of your dreams and your aspirations. Because they don't got no dreams and aspirations. But you're a gift from God. And I'm here to tell you, can't nothing get past you and can't nothing stop you, especially if you're a chosen one. They're wasting their time. And when I, my voice was cracking earlier, it's because it's your voice. It's your throat chakra. It's how you are able to speak the truth and seek the truth. They hate that about you. They hate that you can call them out on their bullshit. They hate how strong your boundaries are. So to keep you from elevating, they are going to be sent to you to de-elevate you, knock you off your path. God is telling you to walk by faith and not by sight. Don't be looking around because everything is not all that it seems. Listen to your intuition. Pray and listen to God because he knows your path. Your path is already, it's already laid out. All you got to do is go on the right, go, go down the right street, the right path, and you will make it there. This person wants to have outside sex with you. And I'm also picking up that some of y'all this weekend had a little outside sex. So I'm giving, it's giving, you may need to go play, take a plan B. Because we just see how this person is trying to stop you. I can't handle being caught up with what, what I tell I'm telling you, this person doesn't want you to know their true, their true hidden agenda is to keep you bound, stuck, and not going nowhere. It is to keep you under their thumb, but they don't really want you. And even if they do want you, it's more of a control thing. So put some money up for a rainy day because what I'm hearing is it's going to be some safe travels that are happening real soon. It's going to be some investments happening real soon and you're going to need that little money. And you never know if you do end up getting pregnant, are you going to be able to have abortion money? Or if you want to keep it, are you going to be able to take care of it? Because this person, I don't see them being a good father or a good mother. And they're a scammer. A flirt, so a thought. <laughs> so God is telling you to work on yourself. Continue to work on yourself. Because these people don't got no car. Porn addictions. Selfish. Trauma. And God is telling you to pray more. See, I didn't have a psychic attack for no reason. I woke up and got on my knees. Pray more because you got people out here, these selfish people out here, they only want you for sex, material gain, because they see you working on yourself. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, give me some more messages for the collective. What does the collective need to know and be aware of? What does the collective need to know and be aware of at this time? That God is telling you to let go. Practice the art of letting go, my love. Because this situation, these past people, and maybe even the current person, that's just not for you. They're just not for you. I know you don't want to hear that, but uh, it's what you need to know. God, give me some messages regarding the collective. What do they need to be aware of at this time? Give me the secrets. Give me the secrets. Expose the secrets. It's unsafe at this time to be loving on your ex. Let the ex be an ex. If you know this person has no good intentions for you, let them be in the past. Be careful of new people that are coming into your life because this is a time in your life where you are doing so much better than the past. So you need to know if, be aware of the scammers that may be trying to come into your life because they don't have anything. And be aware of the people who live double lives because baby, you're being watched at this time by a bunch of charming devils This person is secretly into bestiality. This may be actual bestiality, like cats and dogs, hamsters and frogs, or they are into like the beastie things of life, like porn addictions, gambling, overly having sex with people, cheating, all types of drugs, like just addicted to the lower vibrational things of life. You may be dealing with somebody who is just not meant to be on your path and your ex is definitely not meant to be on your path especially if they're into the dark things of life because I did tell you they are a charming devil not angel devil see you are a threat collective the reason why these people are trying to come up against you and stop you is because you are the baddest threat. You make people look at themselves and feel less about themselves because you're a mirror to people. You mirror greatness and they mirror, which allows them to see how not great they are. So you're being spiritually led to continue to do the things that are best for you. Continue to cut off people who do not mean you no good, baby. Continue to stay away from the devil's prey. Cause this person, this charming devil is gonna wanna take you out. For most of y'all, if you're talking to an ex, you've already fallen out of love with this person. The current person, you're gonna end up falling out of love with them because you're gonna see that they're not even spiritually meant to be on your path. And this charming devil has a closet full of, closet full of skeletons, like, if I could, if I told you all that I'm hearing in my head, you would run the other way. But I'm just gonna leave that be, and I'm gonna let your mind wander. What do you think they do? But God is keeping you healthy, because you're dealing with people who are nasty, and they're not even sorry for what they do to you. But that's okay. Karma going to eat that ass up. And that's a fact. Because one day they're going to see you on the TV screen. And that's another part of their karma. Is to watch you be so much bigger than what you already are. Mm, 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 mm. It's going to suck to suck when that day comes. And for y'all who are already on social media platforms, you're already on their TV because they watch you like a hawk. Give me some more messages, God. Give me some more messages, God. What does the collective need to be aware of when it comes to these people who are coming into their life? 
What does the collective need to know about their ex? What does the collective need to know about anybody who may be trying to play and finesse their way into the collective's heart? These people want you sick and in poverty. They don't want you to make it. They don't. They don't. They want you to be stuck with them. That's crazy. They putting all their work in to hurt you. They gonna come and take you on a date, sweep you off your feet, and then hurt you. So God is saying, don't go by what you see, baby. Like I said, everything is not what it seems. There are more illusions than anything. Trust your intuition. See them red flags because you're dealing with somebody that's a thief. They're gonna come in and steal your heart, steal your, your energy, steal your wealth, steal your health, steal them edges because you're gonna be stressed out. Not bald head by choice, baby, bald head by stress. So God is saying, use your intuition because it's gonna save you from a lot of things, especially from people who doubted you. And you got a lot of people that's in your past that are that are wanting forgiveness because they doubted you. Too late now. You just gotta stay where you at. What I tell you, they're asking for forgiveness. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Now I believe. No, you should have believed in me back then. Now it's a wrap for you. And they can't stop thinking about you, people in your past, people in your present. But what can you do about that? They better go read a book. So God is telling you don't care or listen to the opinions of others. Keep doing you. Keep being you because you got them watching for a reason. So God is telling you to say your final goodbye. Say your final goodbye to the life that you used to live, to the, the relationships you used to have, to the friendships you used to have, to the, the family members who don't have your back that you used to deal with. Everything that doesn't serve you, you need to give it a final goodbye. Kiss it. Goodbye. Because God's rejection is... Rejection is God's protection. What is not for you, God is going to sweep on up out of your life. And you may be trying to hold on to it. But like I said in that dream, you're going to end up catching on fire, trying to chase after something who, that is going to trap you into a life full of misery. You want to catch on fire, collective? Because these people are bitter. Bitter at your success. Bitter at your looks. Bitter at your wealth. Bitter at your mindset. They are, you are the reason why they are sitting there brewing. So God is saying, use your discernment, especially when it comes to people. And what I tell you, when I, when I didn't want to tell you about what, everything that was going on with this charming devil, God done, God done made it come out. This person, DL. When I said they were nasty, They're nasty. But God is keeping you healthy, though. So no worries. But for them, it's unsafe to love that person. So continue to be a good person because that's what's keeping you protected. Very much protected. Oh, Jesus. The energy I just got was just like that nervous feeling of this person is as if they're nervous about ever being found out but we done found out i already knew and tapped in before i could even before god even exposed it hmm. give me some more messages for the collective give me some more messages for the collective what are the secrets that need to be exposed what are the secrets that need to be exposed I like you so much that it scares me. You may have a person, a new person that has a crush on you and they like you so much that it scares them. But you may be also dealing with this person that actually likes you that it, to the point where it scares them because they really like men. So it's kind of scary to be falling for a woman. And they're overprotective and kind of obsessed and controlling. They feel like you're theirs. I 
แอออ Give me some more secrets, guy. Give me some more secrets. What does the collective need to know? You're not Superman, so stop trying to save people, collective. 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 Because I know you are a good person, but it does nothing for you to save the devils of the world. You only allow yourself to catch fire. Because some people don't need to be saved and you won't be thanked or appreciated ever. Ever. Give me some more secrets. What does the collector need to know? What does the collector need to know? Mm -mm. You may be dealing with somebody who has braces But I'm also getting that you need to be careful at this time When it comes to everything that you do in life You do not want to end up somewhere in the hospital I heard fighting for my life Be careful Be careful of the people that you deal with Be careful of people who show you signs of abuse who are abusers, you may end up in a hospital. Because this person, this person is your lover God sent. See, God is sending you in somebody who's God sent, but he also sent you your soulmate, your past ex-soulmate. Unfortunately, they're going through too much. And we are already, you've already been told Stop trying to save them. So you cannot save this person and bring them on your path, baby. Unless you like soft and spit with booty holes. Just saying. Hmm. So God is saying you got to stay focused because you never know when it's your turn. And this person... Is staying with somebody, but they're obsessed with you, and they are a player. So God is telling you to walk through that door, close out that cycle with them, baby, and invest in your dreams. Stay focused. And this person is cheap because they don't have much to give. And this person is really low vibrational. And your gifts scare them because you can see them for who they are. And I told you they were already stalking your social media, watching you like TV. And I told you they were a player. I tried to be a player, but you saw right through me. And I feel like they talking to me with this one. I saw exactly who this person is and I told you who they are. That's what got them shaking in their boots. So a recap, you may be dealing with a DL man or a DL woman or a D your ex person is DL male or woman. They're a player. They don't have much to give, so they're a scammer. They plan on coming into your life, leeching off of your energy, leeching off of your love because they feel like you are theirs, but they don't really want much with you because how can they love you when they really love the opposite sex more than you? You're more of a obsession. You're their obsession. Now let's get some love messages regarding your past person and your current person. But wait, first before we do that, let's get some hidden truths. Because I need to know more about this DL person. God, what's the truth behind this DL person? What's the truth behind this DL person? This DL person. Expose this DL person. Expose this DL person. Expose this DL person. DL. 
You know why their family hates you? It's because they blamed you. <laughs> but God is going to let you know and you already feel like you are grateful for this spiritual lesson. Because what? You learn how to say goodbye. Give me some more truths. Mm. What I tell you, this person don't have their life together. They don't know they self. They hiding in the closet. They don't got no money. They don't got no car. They living with somebody. They obsessed with you. They're a scammer, a love bomber. And they kind of jealous of you. Give me some more hidden truths. And they're saying they lost they self for a little while. This person is lost, period. They're lost, period. Mm -mm. That's why they can't go on a journey with you. Because they don't even know their own self. God, give me some messages regarding the collective's ex. Give me some messages regarding the collective's ex. Give me some messages. The collective's ex. The collective's ex. X. Expose the X. Expose the X. Expose the X. They were your soulmate. But a distorted soulmate. A soulmate that you must say goodbye to. Because they are not for you. So God is telling you that you can still express your love. Call in a new one. And he will give it to you. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. When it comes to this new person that's coming in that has a crush on you. We're finna, we're finna, we finna see. We finna tap in and see what their attentions are. But don't be afraid to pour yourself into them again don't be afraid to take a leap with a new person because i know you're kind of taken aback by what you just dealt with what you didn't know about and it's gonna have you kind of like with your guard up which is good but don't have it up too 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 far where you make somebody feel like you're not able to love give me some messages regarding the new person new person new person new person what is the new person going to be like? New person. New person. New person. Yep, because when this person comes along, it's going to be, y'all both, are, he, they're going to make the effort. Eventually, when they stop being so scared to reach out to you or come to you because you do intimidate this person, you are like, you're the it girl, it boy. So they're, they're kind of scared. So when they do finally reach out to you and they finally do make that effort, that gesture of a date or whatever, it's it's going to be like puppy love. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. It's going to feel like puppy love and it's going to be worth waiting for. See, God is about to send you somebody new because this wasn't it. This soulmate was too distorted. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. Right, and let's get you some angel numbers so I can kiss you all in your mouth and see you on the, see you on your way. Can I give me some angel numbers for the collective? Give me some angel numbers for the collective. Angel number three, three, three. Trust yourself and trust your life choices. Trust your life choices. And trust in yourself. Angel number eight. Because you got abundance coming in. It's a whole lot of money in this mob. Hey. Mm, mm, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Dog barking. Your prayers are being answered. New love. You got opportunities coming in, zero, zero, zero. 
and the moth spirit embrace change and open to new experience what i tell you new opportunities new money prayers being answered new love so screw the past their ass is grass and if nobody told you just today i love you and don't be afraid to cut people off with the axe that they were going to use on you. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you coming and watching. And I hope you have a beautiful day. And I also appreciate all the love and support that y'all give me on a daily, baby. Thank you. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.